Assalamu alaikum. Hope you're all doing good. Many students uh, on TikTok that I teach, uh, people in their comments, majority of you ask about how to improve or, or what are the tips to improve English proficiency. So today I decided to make a whole video about it. I would give you not more than four uh, or three, but you, you, after watching this video, better start it today itself. Number one, you need to practice speaking English every day, five to 10 minutes initially. And then later on, when you develop the habit of doing it, you can increase from one to 20 minutes uh, also. So what you need to do, uh, many students, they question that uh, nobody speaks English at my home, nobody speaks English among my friends or at my workplace. You don't need someone to talk to you in English if you don't have or you, don't, you are not living in the environment of English speaking people. You create your own environment by imagining that there is somebody sitting in front of you and you are talking to that person. Put yourself on a timer of uh, 10 minutes in the beginning or five minutes in the beginning because it's first time you would do that. So just imagine or put an object or a chair. I always say a, a chair, a bottle, a bag, whatever, just to imagine that there is somebody sitting in front of you. And even if you don't have that, you just imagine that you are talking to someone, right? Because God has given you this brain. It's very clever. So number one, make a note of it. You talk to someone imagining that you are talking to somebody uh, for first um, minute to 10 or 5 initially and then you can reach to 20 minutes and uh, number two uh, vocabulary you have to improve your vocabulary in different ways uh, many says that uh, for for improving vocabulary we need to read books or our newspaper not everyone does that a majority of people are not uh, you know uh, having the habit of reading books or newspaper then what so there is something uh, a very quick and easy for all of us as a tip to follow everybody does a uh, you know grocery you buy items grocery items you have a bottle uh, you know of ketchup you have a bottle of shampoo you have a bottle of uh, so many things or or packets right look on top of them there is like english is written on top of it so uh, how to handle how to use precautions ingredients these are the easiest way of finding uh, vocabulary uh, don't forget that you should have a notebook, um, you know, and on in that notebook, you note down new words. And uh, number three, uh, after collecting the words in as a vocabulary list, five or ten every day, until and unless you are not using those words in sentences, you will you will more likely forget that. Very easily. You would say, ah, I, I read about it. Okay. Oh, because you're not using it. Okay. So next time when you're talking, try to use those words in your conversation. And in case you are talking, uh, of course, you are talking to that person you are imagining or, uh, you know, during your talk time, there are words that <clears throat> you don't know how to, how, what is the English word for this situation. So after your talk, you note down those words also and you get the meaning of those words. And again, you use them in your uh, daily routine or in your talk. Okay. Number four, and try that. This is quite interesting. Approach anyone uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a mall or just to talk to that person uh, thinking like you, you are just doing it as a task. It's like an assignment. Talking to a stranger. How do you start a talk? You talk to that person and make up anything like um, uh, I didn't know where is the loo or I don't know where is that uh, you know item in the mall or where to find that truck. Just try to, to do that. I tell you what are you trying uh, what are you doing to uh, you know achieve while doing this activity you improve your um, self-confidence you you test yourself how are you while talking to others those who don't know um, anything about them okay so it it boosts up your inner inner confidence okay and the last thing which is um, which is very very critical for all of us to remember that if you want to be a learner of any language, not only English, if, if you want to be a learner, you need to be shameless in learning. When I say shameless, it doesn't mean that shameless. It means you don't have to worry that 
she is looking at me he is looking at me they are listening to me they are watching me or or i'm heard or it's me only talking or these things if you have these things in your mind i'm telling you you are scared you are um you are um, afraid to face people or you have a fear if you have a fear in here so you cannot you cannot learn for learning you have to be like children like they don't even know what is uh you know fear or they are so brave to talk to anyone because they are innocent they don't realize they don't know about this world right so you have to be like them you have to be ready to face any kind of uh, audience any kind of a uh, person that you need to talk to or they are listening to you because you are learning this this thing is something like not everyone does not everyone improves uh in their life you are the one who is learning you should be feeling proud of yourself and no one no one can become a good learner without making mistakes everybody has to so this is the beauty of learning hope all these tips are going to help you and please share this video to your loved ones because there are so many uh, who are still thinking there are difficult ways to learn english no there are no difficult ways easy things easy thing within your hand within your capacity to do it right hope this helps